Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information, and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa mag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating Itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks Classes sa Gramatika Speech Class Financial Literacy At marami pang iba Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating Alive Program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3 Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS Program at SPED Tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes, mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Ako ang inyong lingkod, Tutor Match. Welcome sa ating Itulay, ang ating libreng online tutorial na hatid ng ating kagawaran ng edukasyon, ICTS EdTech. Ang programang ito ay inaasahang makatutulong at maging karagdagang kaalaman sa mga mag-aaral mula kinder hanggang senior high school, ALS, ALIVE, at SPED learners. Bukod sa pagsagot ng mga modules, ang Itulay ay may mga special programs din na siguradong aabangan ninyo araw-araw. Katuwang ang ating mga minamahal na mga magulang at guro ay maitutulay natin ang pagkatuto. Kaya, ihanda na ang inyong module, lapis, papel o kwaderno. Ihanda rin ang isip, mata at tenga sa isa na namang makabuluhang aralin. Tayo nang matuto kasama ang inyong volunteer online tutor sa oras na ito. Share. Hello there. 
Almost all of us are citizens of the online world, and the internet is the system that runs this world. The internet is so powerful. Indeed, anything can go viral in a blink of an eye. Whatever we say, post, or share, whether positive or negative, can immediately spread all over the online world before we even know it. But it is us who run the system. So we also are the ones who are fully in control of it. It's like... Hi dear! What is it today? Hmm... Planning to update status? I just want to remind you... Use the power of the internet to spread positivity you can also start to spread a harmful and untrue messages actually Why not passing them on to others? Well, that's easy And respect each other's differences That's R-E-S-P-E-C-T Respect? Well, well, well What do we have here? Thinking of something to post? Ooh Remember that one who called you loser, fat, and ugly? You can't let him get away with it. Go ahead and bring him on social media. Dear, ask yourself first, what will be the consequences? Will it result to something good? Nah, -uh, I don't think so. However, if you get mean and bullying comments, unfollow or block them and also those with inappropriate behaviors. Make an effort to provide support to those being bullied to lift their morale and confidence. And kids, don't ever hesitate to speak up against and report online bullying. Now, to whom will you listen to? Aha! I think I know what to post. Treat others as you would like to be treated. Hashtag, be internet kind. Hashtag, it's cool to be kind. Share. How would you like to be treated? Simple as the golden rule says, treat others as you would like to be treated. Respect and expect to be respected. After all, what we give is what we get. So let's choose to be kind. Be internet kind, it's cool to be kind. Hi there, Sir Wilbur here. And I will share something valuable to make sure that you will be internet awesome. Have you ever posted something in your social media account and later have regrets in posting it? Of course, you can delete it. But it is also possible that someone might have read it before you removed it. Do you share memes or funny videos for fun? Have you considered that someone might get offended? The convenience of using the internet has become part of our daily lives which helps us communicate, share photos and videos, and post something about ourselves easily. But in the online world, we need to be extra careful. We need to have the ability to control what information we will share about ourselves and whom we will allow to see and reshare it. And that refers to online privacy. Your name? Home address, phone and mobile number, social security number, and email address are your personal information. It's a good idea to make a rule for yourself not to share this kind of information online. Aside from keeping your personal information, we must also take care of our reputation because these are the ideas, opinions, impressions, or beliefs that other people think or have about you. We must also consider what others will feel based on our posts. Different situations call for different responses, online and offline. It's always important to respect other people's privacy choices, even if they aren't the choice you'd make yourself. Also, be careful with the simple codes that you send, like emojis, because it represents a certain meaning or message 
which may uplift the reader's emotion or the other way around. Have you heard of the word oversharing? It refers to sharing personal information or just too much about yourself in a certain situation or conversation online. What's the risk? You might become so familiar in doing it that you are unaware that you are already sharing information about your private life. This is harmful not just for you but also to your loved ones. The internet can be a safe or a dangerous place for us. It will really depend on how we will utilize it. Take time to think and read your post a couple of times before you share it in the World Wide Web. And remember, it's better if you will always think before you click. But it's best if you will share with care. Good morning everyone! Isang magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Isang blessed Friday morning sa ating lahat from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, Maayong Adlao. I am Shooter May from Centro de Naik National High School. And today po, ay hindi natin makakasama si Sir Mike, si Shooter Mike, kasi siya po ay merong um, shoot for being a TV broadcaster. So, I'm sorry po for the technical gl glitch. Ano that happened a while ago but let me just acknowledge those that are joining us today so uh, maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga G9 learners teachers at mga nagjo-join sa atin last week po may challenge kami ni Sir Mike ang sabi namin is if you could post a video or picture of you doing cleaning sanitizing on our dep at ito live page and um three of the teachers Teachers from different um, division had actually um, came up with um, their um, sanitizing pictures and videos. Let me just mention those from Mom Nora Lucero Eduarte, from um, Mom um, Manilin Sacro of Naik Coastal National, Naik National High School. So yung mga learners po nila ay actively na nag-share ng kanilang mga videos and photos for sanitize, uh, for cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools and, and equipment. So what we're going to do now po is we are going to continue our lesson. So last time we've talked about um, cleanliness and sanitation of the kitchen tools and equipment. So today, continuation lang po siya. So we are going to focus more on our equipment. So every Friday at 10 to 10.30 a.m. po, I will be joining you and Shooter Mike. So, we have to finish off with cleaning and sanitizing para na-instill talaga to sa ating mga minds at para mas naintindihan ng ating mga learners. And then, we are going to store clean kitchen tools and equipment safely in the designated spaces. Alright, so just a short um, refresher lang po. So, for the fundamental of cleaning procedures, sabi natin, then you have to scrape and rinse. Tanggalin lahat ng mga leftover food and then i-prerinse with water. During the cleaning cycle, ang ginagawa naman po natin ay nilalagyan natin ng chemical or ng dishwashing soap and we scrape off, we scrub off all the grease and grime. And then during the rinsing process, meron tayong um, lukewarm water na ginagamit kapag medyo matigas or medyo uh, sticky yung mga grimes. And then for acid rinse, this is optional. Kasi ngayon naman po, yung mga detergents natin, meron na rin silang mga um, uh, properties na ginagamit acids as well as um, my, for the microbes because of what happened because of the pandemic. So, mayroon na rin antimicrobial properties. And then for sanitation, meron mga commercially purchased or meron naman tayong hot water na ever since ay ginagamit natin. Next po is the factors that influence the cleaning process. So ito naman po, tinatanong natin dito, ano ba yung mga bagay na nakaka-apekto sa paglilinis natin ng ating kitchen tools, utensils, as well as the equipment? Of course, ang unang-una po dyan is the soil or those grease and grime na nag-stick sa ating mga kitchen tools and equipment. Second is the time. The longer na in contact yung ating uh, cleaning agent with the cleaning utensils, of course po, mas madali po siyang malilinis. Temperature, 
Uh, ito yung ginagamit natin yung lukewarm water natin. Especially kung ulam natin, bulalo. Di po ba? Ang sarap. Ang sarap ng bulalo. Pero yung paglilinis, isa siyang extra challenge. At ang ginagawa natin sa kanya, nagantay, naglalagay tayo ng lukewarm water. Just to make sure na nare-remove yung sebo. And the next is the chemical concentration. Chemical concentration is the amount of dishwashing soap or liquids na nilalagay natin in order for us to clean the surfaces as well as yung mga tools. Next po ay yung mechanical force. Of course, dahil nasa bahay tayo, ang ginagamit lang naman natin ay of course mga sponge, yung mga brush. So hand tools lang po ito. You don't have to exert much effort para lang magamit ito. Next is the water. Kapag nakikita nyo po na yung kulay ng water nyo is very questionable na siya, then what you do po is you change the water. Kasi tayo mga Pinoy, alam mo naman, we can serve water. So what we do is we put water in the basin and then we wash off our dishes. Okay, so I hope po na nare-recall natin, naaalala natin, actually during exploratory, na-discuss na po ito during grade 7 and grade 8. However, just as a refresher, at saka para ma-instill sa minds natin ang um, kahalagahan or the importance of cleanliness and sanitation. Diba? Alright. So, um, ngayon po ay ating pag-uusapan kasi last time pinag-usapan natin generally about the small tools, yung mga handheld lang at yung mga nagagamit natin sa kitchen. The cutleries, the china wares, and all of those. So, now let's talk about your range. So, sabihin niyo sa akin, ma'am, wala po kaming ganyan. It's okay. Kasi later on in life, magkakaroon din kayo, hindi lahat ng household sa Pilipinas meron ito. Pero alam ko, meron kayong gas stove, merong stove top or countertop na um, stove. However, let's talk about this. Ano, how do we clean your range or yung stop, um, stop, stove top niya? I'm sorry. Um, first off is we have to remove those burnt sediments. We have to scrape and wipe grease from top to curbs and opening ranges. Kasi po, pag nagluluto natin, I'm sorry, pag nagluluto tayo, minsan hindi natin napapansin, lalo na pag may ginagawa tayo, busy tayo with schoolwork or meron tayong pinapanood na educational program. So nakakalimutan natin, ay nakasala nga pala yung ano ko, yung minudo ko, di ba? Or may nakasala nga pala ang ulam na sabi ni nanay, ay i-check ko from time to time. Unfortunately, naiwanan natin siya. So what happens? Pagka kumulo siya, nagsispill over, sa, nagsispill over sa ating stove. So, naiiwan yun doon. Nagiging burnt sediments yon. So, kailangan natin kumuha ng scouring pad para linisin and to wipe off the grease and the burnt sediment. Next is for the oven, yung part na yon. What do we do? We have to clean the interior by removing grates, scraping food deposits, then wash and dry. Burners can be soaked and scrubbed. Ito yung minsan kasi pag nagbibake tayo ay napapasobra. Ito, experience ko to. Eh. Minsan kasi excited ka. Gusto yung mga muffins mo talagang nagpa-pop siyang ganun. Pero hindi natin nalilinis. So kapag siya ay nasa oven na, nagkakaroon ng spillover. So nagbibiposit yun doon. So gagawin mo lang is you have to scrape it off using your scrub. Huwag naman po yung mga steel wool ha. Ingatan po natin kasi medyo mahal po ang mga gamit sa kusina. Okay, so just soak it in, in a dishwashing liquid solution. Kapag hindi natatanggal agad, leave it there for a few minutes and then come back at linisin siya. Just wipe it off at makikita nyo, clean na rin siya. Next is our refrigerator. Ito, Ito yung lagi nating vini-visit on a daily basis. Ano, parang we always have a trip to the refrigerator para kumuha ng food natin or cold drink. So how do we clean and sanitize our refrigerator? Okay. So tong ref pala natin if I would I would just want to mention no, they keep our food cold, maintain freshness and slow down the growth of bacteria, ano? Ang gagawin lang natin kapag nilinis natin to is you have to remove everything. ba? Wipe out spilled foods immediately. 
Wash inside shelves and trays at least twice a week with baking soda. Rinse and dry thoroughly and flush drains weekly. Ito minsan, ano, uh, sasabihin natin, nilinis ko naman na yung ref. Paano nyo po ba nilinis? Ang unang-unang dapat ginagawa, ina, tina-turn off siya at ina-unplug ko. And then, you remove everything inside. Okay? After removing anything, everything inside, that's when you wipe and clean. Ma'am, bakit po may nakikita po akong charcoal? Nilalagay po ni nanay sa loob ng ref. Alright, so alam naman natin na ang charcoal is carbon. So what happens is, tinatanggal or sinisip-sip niya yung smelly molecules. Kasi syempre, porous kasi yung ating um, uh, charcoal. Kaya nilalagyan ni nanay. Kasi nga syempre, minsan may amoy yung ref. So, yun yung reason. Or ma'am, bakit po may tea, may bag of tea on? The same reason din po, para matanggal yung smell. Okay? So, weekly, on a weekly basis, I would recommend na linisin natin ang ating mga refrigerator and we always have to make sure na yung mga food containers natin for raw foods, for cooked foods, nakahiwalay po sila. Dapat po maging practice po natin yun para walang cross-contamination. Right, next po. Ito yung lagi din nating ano, ang sarap kumain, sarap-sarap kumain, pero minsan, ginagawa natin pagkakain, lagay yung mga china wear natin, glasses natin sa sink. Uh, maging practice po sana natin na every time that you eat, you have to wash off yung mga pinagamitan. And isa sa mga hindi natin masyadong pinagkakaabalahan na linisin din ay ang ating mga sink and drains. Ito, grade 9 ha. Maging practice natin, hindi lang yung kutsara, tinidor, baso, at mga plato ang linisin. After nyong hugasan sila, hugasan din natin ang sink. Okay? So yung sink natin has in installed faucet, host to supply water, and a drain to remove used water. We have to keep outlets screened all the times. Flush daily with one gallon of solution made from strong solution soda or kung ano yung available sa bahay. And then, clean and replace grease tray regularly. Use force pump if the drain is low. Sana wag naman umabot sa ganito. Ano, kaya nga sabi natin, di ba, we always have to put screen on those outlet. Para nasa sala, kasi minsan class, or minsan po, nagiging practice din natin na, sige na nga, lahat na lang lalagay doon. Na without removing yung mga balat-balat, ay balat lang naman po yan ng, ano, ng garlic, maliit lang yan. No, dapat naging practice natin na tanggalin pa rin natin siya. Scrape it off, throw it on the trash bin. Okay? Mahalin natin ang ating mga sink kasi a lot of the things na pinagkainan natin, dyan natin hinuhugasan. Replace wa washers immediately on leaking pot. Of course, kapag nag-leak na yung faucet natin, kailangan na natin sabi, this is not good. Magiging breeding ground kasi ng bacteria yung mga places na basa. Okay, so please lang, after hugasan ng kinainan, isama yung sink natin. Okay pa ba tayo siya in grade 9? Alright, so let's continue. Um, eto isa sa mga lagi din natin ginagamit. Sasabihin nyo, ma'am, bakit ang daming kulay ng cutting board mo? Ang dami mong pinepresent sa amin. Sa bahay po kasi ang gamit lang po namin yung wood. That's not a problem. Ano, kung ano yung meron sa bahay, gamitin natin. Or sasabihin nyo sa akin, ma'am, yung white lang po yung meron sa amin. It's okay. For as long as you clean and sanitize and store your cutting board properly. Okay? So, for the sake of discussion and for future use nyo na rin. Kasi alam ko naman na in the future ay magagamit nyo to. Cutting boards that are colored white is used for bakery and dairy supplies. Next, for greens, it is used for your fruits and vegetables. For red, it is used for raw meat. For blue, for raw fish. For brown, for roots and tubers. For yellow, it is for your cooked meat and purple is for free from food. Or ito yung mga gluten-free, yung mga health-conscious dyan, or yung may mga medical um, 
may mga medical needs sila that's why they, they need to have free uh, free from foods okay so paano nililinis ang ating cutting board first off scrape any food left on the cutting board using metal scraper or spatula ma'am walang metal scraper or spatula another option is you use your knife okay Next is throw the scrapings into the trash bin or put your vegetable peels in your compost pit. I would highly recommend this. Please, dahil nasa bahay tayo, let us practice segregation. And then yung mga biodegradable natin, gawin nating fertilizers. Kagaya ng mga vegetable peels ninyo, that is a very good organic fertilizer. Next, scrub the board with hot soapy water thoroughly. Bakit kailangang scrub at gamitan na hot soapy water? Kasi po, kapag po tayo ay nagka-cut, minsan, crevices, so medyo nagkakaroon ng, ng counting crack. Ano? So doon pumapasok naman yung mga microbes. So, kailangan po natin talaga i-scrub yan thoroughly. And gagamitan ng sabon or water na pinaglagyan nyo ng soap solution. Next, plastic and wooden cutting board can be sanitized using diluted liquid chlorine bleach or vinegar solution. Ito yung lagi natin ginagawa at it, ito siguro yung napapansin nyo sa mga parents nyo sa bahay na laging merong vinegar solution. Di po ba? Next po. Next po. For procedure for disinfecting premises. Okay, so kanina ang ginawa natin ay um, clean, sanitize, and disinfect yung mga uh, equipment natin. Ngayon naman po, ang gagawin natin is the kitchen premises. Bakit kailangan i-disinfect yung kitchen premises? Of course, kasi dyan tayo nagpe-prepare. First thing that we have to do is do the preliminary cleaning. After which, you apply solution to hand and apply to surfaces. Treated surface must remain wet for 10 minutes. Wipe with dry cloth. Okay. Yung mga countertops po natin, dapat lagi din niyang sinasama sa paglilinis. Next, sponge on mop or allow to air dry. I would recommend po siguro to air dry. Okay? This is the process talaga na we can rely on and very easy. Wal walang, walang expenses din to. Next, use a spray dev device for spray application. Spray 6 to 8 inches from surface. Rub with a brush sponge or cloth. Avoid inhaling sprays. Okay? Kasi syempre, it's not good for the health kasi this has chemical compositions. Next, rinse all surfaces that come in contact with food such as exterior of appliances, tables, and stove top with potable water. Okay, ito lagi nating gagawin, ano, lagi nating aalalahanin. Huwag yung, ah, okay, nakapag-spray na rin naman ako. Hayaan ko na lang doon kasi para talagang patay yung lahat ng mga viruses, microbes, and germs. No. Alalahanin natin, we have to rinse it off. Okay? Do not forget that process, ha? Very, ano yan, very essential yan. Kailangan gawin yun. Okay po? Okay, next, let's, um, let's talk about this. How do we keep our kitchen clean and safe? Ito, gusto ko sana maging practice na natin to. Maging practice na ng lahat ng mga grade 9 learners. First off is, kailangan kasi po natin gumawa ng household chores kahit pa paano. Even though we are busy with our modules, I would like for you to be able to help with household chores. So first off is gagawin natin, we have to remove unnecessary clutter from surfaces. Huwag niyong sasabihin na, eh kasi nagmamodule ako, busy ako, lagay mo muna dyan. Meron po kasing specific places tayo na kung saan ninyo dapat nilalagay ang mga gamit natin. For your kitchen, we have to make sure na 
ito po ang place where the family comes together, enjoy the meal na meron tayo. So remove anything that does not belong to the kitchen. Okay po ba? All right. Next po is you have to keep your refrigerator clean and tidy at all times po. Ito isa sa mga bagay na napapansin ko pag kumukuha ng ice cream. Uba, pag kumukuha ng ice cream sa ref, hindi ko alam kung bakit may spillover lagi. Napapansin ko lang din to. Ang sa akin lang po is make sure na kapag kumukuha, enough lang para walang nagsispillover kasi ang ating refrigerator po ay nagsustore ng food that would nourish ourselves, our health, that would keep us healthy during this very challenging times. So, dapat ay maging clean and tidy para walang food contamination. Next, use a rubbish bin with a lid to keep others out that attract flies and other insects. Okay, eto po, may trash bin sa kitchen natin. Lagi po siyang hahaya, lagi po siyang hinahaya. Kaya yeah, ang bukas, bakit po hindi maisara? Ito isa sa mga bagay na dapat din natin i-practice. Laging isara at separate yung mga plastic from the vegetable and fruits peel. Okay, segregate natin. Next, wash and disinfect your rubbish bin once a, once a week. Okay, dapat maging practice din natin to kasi syempre po, yung mga food natin, food food particles or food na tinapo natin sa trash bin, nag-a-attract po yan ng insect and flies. So, kailangan i-disinfect natin yung mga rubbish bin natin kasi carrier sila ng mga diseases. Okay po? Ayan, na alam ko naiintindihan nyo to at naiisip nyo na, opo nga ma'am, dapat talaga ginagawa natin to. Next, use separate chopping boards for different kinds of food. Okay? So, lalo na yung raw meat, let us be very particular with this. Kung hindi naman talaga maiiwasan at talagang um, tutor, may isa lang po kasi yung chopping board namin sa bahay. Okay? So, I would always say po na before gamitin ang, ang chopping board or ang cutting board natin para sa mga ready to eat food na po, huwag naman gamitin sa raw meat muna. Ano? Una muna yung mga breads natin kung kailangan talagang hiwain siya sa cutting board bread muna before yung mga raw meat para walang cross contamination. Alam ko ginagawa niyo to na, 'di ba? Opo naman, tutor may ganyan po talaga ang ginagawa namin. Well, kudos to you, mahusay ang ginagawa mo. Next, frequently change the dish cloth for wiping surface. Okay, ito yung mga pinampupunas natin sa lamesa after natin kumain. Oop, sabihin ni nanay, alright, you have to clean the tabletop. Okay, so kailangan po, kapag nakikita nyo na, syempre, ilang gamit ka na, kailangan natin na i-change naman to, labhan, i-bleach, i-sanitize, at i-disinfect. Paltan ng iba para ma-assure natin yung cleanliness. Next, use a paper towel for any mess that is likely to cause contamination. Yes, eto i-avoid natin to yung cross contamination always use uh, yung mga table napkins natin or paper towels next regularly sweep and wash your kitchen floors na dapat ginagawa natin every time na gumagamit tayo ng kitchen kasi may mga nalalaglag diyan so make sure na nakakapag sweep tayo ng floor Next, don't leave plates, cups, and other similar items dirty. Oo nga naman, kapag ka kasi ginamit mo, it is a requirement din na hugasan mo sila. Madali lang naman maghugas. Parang kasindali lang yan ang pagkain at pag-inom natin. Okay? Next, wash surfaces that get touch. Ako ay re-recommend ko po lahat na ng surfaces sa area na nandun ka. Ha? Para ma, talagang ma-assure natin, magkaroon tayo ng assurance sa ating mga sarili na, na malinis talaga ang lahat at free from microbes and germs. And then, always wash your hands before and handling any type of food. Ito naman ay alam natin, alam 
sanitary pa lang or, or sa bahay pa lang sinasabi na sa atin niya, always wash your hand before eat food. Okay. So, yun, ginagawa talaga natin yun. Eto po. So, thank you po sa mga photos and videos na pinadala natin. Ito po yung mga part ng photos and videos na pinadala doon sa cleaning and sanitizing. Ano? So, so, so um, thank you very much at um, alam ko po, the next quick review po sa ating mga inaral. Okay, so, kailangan we have to clean, sanitize tools, equipments, and our kitchen premises. Okay? So, um, sa part na to po ay medyo magpapasalamat ako sa talagang pag, pagtutok at paggawa ng performance task ng ating mga students from Centro de Naik National High School uh, with um, Ma'am Rosel Viado of ELE9. Yung ibang school po ay ating ipi-feature next time Kasi hindi po ako nakahingi sa kanila ng permission. Bawal po kasi tayong gumamit ng hindi tayo nahingi ng permission sa kanila. But don't worry, next time po, isasama po natin sila. Papakita ko lang po, this is actually an appreciation for the performance task or output na ginawa ng TLE9. Okay. Right. So, uh, lahat po ito, sabihin nyo, si ma'am naman, sentro din na lahat. Opo, kasi dun lang po yung nakahingi po ako ng um, permission. Right. So, ngayon po sa ating skills test, alam naman po natin na ang ating TLE9 is all about skills test. Or, ang ating TLE subject po talaga kasi ay 70% ng grade ay nanggagaling sa performance test. Ito po ang magiging challenge natin ngayon. Select one kitchen tool or equipment to be cleaned and sanitized. Take a photo or create a video of the equipment before, during, and after. So sabihin nyo, ma'am, gusto ko po sana yung stove. Um, okay, okay po. Walang problema. Kung wala nang po talagang range, okay po. Ma'am, gusto ko po sana yung uh, wooden cutting board namin. Walang problema po. That's fine and all good for as long as you will be doing your skills test. Okay? At i-upload po natin siya sa ating DepEd Itulay page, Facebook group po natin. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And magre-request lang po ako uh, for the hashtag Itulay Ang Saya, Itulay Level Up, hashtag TLE Cookery 9. And um, visit nyo rin po yung Facebook uh, page ni Sir Mike, TLE with Teacher Mike. Okay. So, um, for all your questions po, para po dun sa mga kailangan nating i-sagutin uh, ng mga tanong na hindi malinaw sa inyo, you can always ask um, teacher, uh, Tutor May or Tutor Mike and then um, we'll see you every 10 a.m. to 10.30 po. And you can also uh, email um, at edtech at deped.gov.ph. Um, dun sa mga students po para at learners na nag-post ating DepEd Itulay, uh, thank you so much. Hindi ko na po kayo maisa-isa kasi ang dami po talaga. And um, before I leave po, I would, like to, I would like to share this quote with you. One who maintains cleanliness Keeps Away Diseases by Sam Veda. At sana po, yung isa sa mga maging practice natin, ito yung mga hinihiling natin na maging practice natin for this uh, pandemic or kahit tapos na po yung pandemic, always make it a habit na maging clean tayo sa buong bahay po natin, especially with the areas na nagpe-prepare tayo ng food, which is our kitchen po. Okay po? Alright, so thank you very much po. No, thank you for joining me today. Um, so, I'll see you again next time. Pasensya na po talaga kayo kasi minsan po hindi ko hawak yung technical aspect, lalo na po yung internet connection po. I'm so sorry, but I promise I'll do my best next time. Thank you for joining me today. And as I always say, you are enough and you did great today. See you again next time. 
Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!